What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So I didn't think I'd be making another one of these SNDL Sundial Growers videos, but uh, we have some more big time moves in SNDL and really across the whole sector, which is kind of be kind of a theme here as to what has been driving SNDL. So we've been talking about this stock uh, quite a bit over the past couple of months, honestly. It has made its little pops, it's had its drops, they've done their offerings, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, we thought maybe they'd have some news this week to send the stock price higher in anticipation of them now regaining compliance with the NASDAQ, um, which by Friday, as long as they regain compliance by Friday, which means their bid price holds over $1 by the close for 10 consecutive days, which we had five last week. So just this one more week, they'll regain compliance uh, and then there will be no risk uh, for them to a reverse stock split, at least there shouldn't be. Uh, and then at the same time, there's no risk of delisting, um, at least for right now. So that said, SNDL didn't have any news. Their last press release here is, is them closing their latest uh, offering, which we talked about in a prior video. But take a look at the chart, just insane. Hit a high of $2.50 this morning, um, right after the open. So we're filming this video about midday during the markets. I figured this would be the best time. Things are a little calm because it was moving this morning. Um, I didn't want to kind of film it. And then all of a sudden, you know, you know, whatever I said was kind of irrelevant at the time because it kind of made a big move after that. So now we have $2.50 hitting um, this morning. It's currently sitting just under, you know, just around 225 or so, just over 225. Um, and so our resistance, our prior resistance up around one. 135 blew through that yesterday hit 175 and then boom gapped up and pushed to 250 today incredible moves i mean this is just insane but we have been seeing a lot of stocks even with large floats moving like this now why do i say large float well relatively speaking right for a, a penny stock this stock has a float here of 435.76 million that's how many shares are available to the public to trade. Uh, and so it had been getting held back. You kind of had seen, right? It was getting held back. It seemed like it wasn't making too many too many moves, too much progress for those who were in, who've been watching it. You know, a lot of scalp opportunities, lots of ups and downs. Really since November, ever since the election, this stock has had its opportunities, ups and downs. And if you had just bought even since then, even if you got a, a pretty bad average up around 50 or even higher than 50 cents, you know, even if you had just bought there, you know, you're you're up massively on those shares. So for those who held through, congrats to you. Uh, this is a crazy, crazy move um, in, in a hot sector. The cannabis sector has been very, very red hot. And going back to the chart, one of the stocks that has really been leading the pack has been Tilray. Now, Tilray hit $67 here this morning. Uh, insane. Now it's pulled back because the overall market actually took a pretty big dip right after the open. The, the overall market, the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, they all came down relatively quickly in a very short period of time. So that did kind of pull some of the momentum out of stocks like Tilray, which then kind of filtered over into a lot of stocks in the sector. So for example, SNDL, right? We're seeing SNDL had that big push up to 250, market pulls back, SNDL comes down. Actually, if we take a look at the five minute chart here, what did SNDL come down? down to. It actually came down below $2 for a very brief period of time by this candle wick right here, down to about $193 before, you know, within minutes recovering back up to over $2.30 and now kind of consolidating right around the VWAP, which is sitting up around $2.25 for right now. But look at this trend from this morning. I mean, from even from the, from the close yesterday, from 160 or so, 158 hitting the low here, just grinding its way up, putting in higher lows, continuing to make its moves. And then, you know, there's the blow up hitting 250. Now that's going to be our resistance point for right now, because now we want to go and look forward. Okay, cool. This is great. You know, where are we looking at now going forward with SNDL? It's up 35%, 36% when we're filming this video. Now we want to look to the daily chart and we want to start looking to the left. Here's how you can really get a good sense of where these areas of resistance may lie. Now, here we go. Just like that, what do we see? We see some gaps. So we see this little gap right here on the chart. Let me actually draw in some lines. I know it's a little bit small, so we can fill this in and we can actually see this uh, very, very well with um, the Weeble platform, which is what we use here on the channel. So we have this little gap right here from about $2 up towards, let's pull up this line one more time, up towards just about 235. So we filled that gap, okay? Why is that? Well, it's just because it's a gap. You know, we have a period right here on the chart that there's no history um, ever since, you know, ever since that gap down, the stock never recovered above it. Now it did. Cool. Okay, where are some other areas to watch out for for SNDL? 
Uh, well, going forward, it looks like this stock, the, some of these prior highs we have, we're gonna draw on some more horizontal lines. We got a high right here up to about 335, and then we have another high right up in here up around 385, 390 or so. So we're getting close to that $4. Now, those are the areas that we have to kind of grind up to, and those could be some areas of resistance going forward. So SNDL filled this gap. If it can get back over this 250 and make a push up, I would not be surprised seeing $3, then seeing 335, and then potentially seeing up towards 390 or so, getting close to $4 based on the prior history of the chart. Now, I'm not saying that's the price targets. It's going to absolutely go there. I'm just saying, we are in a crazy market. If Tilray keeps up, wouldn't be surprised to even see a stock like Tilray going towards $100. Why not, right? It's, it's absolutely nuts. And so if the momentum in the sector continues and we continue to get some more kind of pieces of news, Chuck Schumer and them, them saying, hey, you know, this is getting closer in the Senate or we're getting closer, we're going to pass something, blah, 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 right? All it's going to do is continue to create that hype and get more volume. So that's the next piece I want to talk about is that volume precedes price. And so even when the stock price wasn't moving too much and you wanted to go back, look at some of these volume bars the past couple of weeks. I mean, these were crazy volume days. You know, we're talking about days where the stock was seeing, you know, volume over 1 trillion shares traded. I can't even believe I'm even saying that. Over 1 trillion shares, 2 trillion shares traded, even today so far. And, you know, the day is it's like halfway over. We're up, you know, over 1 trillion shares. Just absolutely incredible volume coming in. If we want to look back and even see what we have here on Finviz, yeah, I mean, this is just nuts. We haven't hit some of the high volume days that we saw back just before February. So we're getting up towards some of those days. But again, we are still seeing significantly higher volume than we saw throughout much of the past couple of months. And SNDL, after those offerings kind of got grinded through and got eaten up, it seems like just continued to push higher. So there's pretty much no threat for them not to regain compliance now with the NASDAQ minimum bid requirements, you know, which, which means you got to hold 10 consecutive days with the bid price closing above $1. Unless this stock absolutely plummets, there's bad news, or they do like six offerings in a row, which is not going to happen. Unless something like that, something ridiculous, um, then yeah, maybe the stock could come back down under two bucks again, down towards 135 this prior area of resistance would become new support right here so could i see a decent dip down under two down towards 150 yeah i could see that happening for sure and now we have a we have a gap here on this chart so take a look at this this gap from this 195 down towards 175 that's kind of a gap right there you know wouldn't be surprised if 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 SNDL was to come down, if it did come down, it fills this gap and maybe regain some support at 175. But again, that's well above $1, well above that you know requirement. So we should be getting a press release from them soon saying, hey, we've regained compliance after Friday. Now the market's closed on Monday. So after Friday, you know, come Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, next week, I would not be surprised to get a press release from SNDL as long as they obviously don't drop below one um, in the next couple of days. Um, hey, we regain compliance and that could set people up and, and set the stock up for uh, a further run. Who knows? We'll see what happens. That said, hopefully this video was helpful. Those are some areas of support resistance to be watching out for what is going on with SNDL. Crazy, crazy volume coming in the past couple of days. It's just insane. And and for those, I, I didn't think that I would make another video on SNDL if it kind of just did its little thing. People are always asking questions about it. And so, you know, we have some updates and obviously some new resistance points to watch out for. It could get kind of crazy over these levels. So if the momentum continues up, this could be a, a nutty move to the upside uh, like we've been seeing with Tilray. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. We're using Webull. That's this platform right here. There's a link down below to get up to $1,850 in two free stocks when you sign up and deposit a hundred bucks. Um, you can even create IRA accounts, regular you know, individual investing accounts. Just created my own IRA with Webull as well. I, I, I like the platform and I like to be using it. So um, I, I recommend it. I use it every single day and that's why I recommend it. Uh, other links and resources link down below as well. Make sure you like and make sure you're subscribing so you don't miss the next video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.